The ninth successive RBA rate hike wasn't a surprise for markets, but has created a wide range of views on when rates will peak. Our latest thoughts and forecasts for 2023. The February hike to 3.35% was driven by the high read for core inflation released last month and evidence that our economy still has reasonable momentum. So, the comment from the RBA that further increases in interest rates will be needed over the months ahead does seem to be definitive. They've got more work to do to make sure that this spike in inflation is only temporary and a warning of potentially more than one rate hike ahead. The CPI rate of 7.8% for the end of 2022 was as forecast, but core inflation at 6.9% was well above consensus and RBA forecasts. So, while both these measures should steadily fall from this peak, inflation is a central bank's worst fear, so the RBA are acting decisively. The next rate hike to 3.6% is now likely in March, depending on where wages and jobs data lands later this month and then the next quarterly inflation numbers are out in late April. So, while we're still expecting a plateau in interest rates at about 3.6% by May, and evidence that inflation has peaked will help this view, we still only expect a pause in hikes with a tightening bias intact and don't see rate cuts on the horizon. For the RBA to cut rates, we'll need core inflation back below 3%, which might not happen until late 2024. And the latest news on China reopening their economy actually supports a stronger rebound in tourism and other service exports such as international education. We were already calling for a soft landing in 2023 prior to this welcome news that Chinese authorities have abandoned their COVID-0 policies. So this faster path back to pre-pandemic levels of overseas arrivals, as well as stronger appetite for our exports, will all help to offset the reality of much higher interest rates weighing on household spending. The risk of a recession in the US, UK and much of Europe hasn't disappeared, but China's reopening may result in shallower recessions. And for Australia, while the economy will be growing more slowly and unemployment is likely to edge higher, we expect that outperformance from our major trade partners should help us to avoid hard landing. We expect the unemployment rate to head back above 4% this year, higher than RBA forecasts, but still lower than 2019 levels. And unlike last year, access to labour for businesses should improve. Stock markets don't appear to be pricing in recession here or almost anywhere around the world. And the latest US jobs data may imply a longer cycle, deferring the time of recessions overseas and justifying these values. But Australia's recent outperformance is a pleasing outcome. Similarly, the Aussie dollar has also outperformed this year, but it's not going to be one-way traffic ahead. And lastly, property prices continue to fall as borrowers bear the brunt of the rate hikes. So the peak to trough decline so far of 8.9% nationally is a record fall for residential property. But there's a wide range of outcomes by location and these falls do need to be considered in the context of large increases during the pandemic, low unemployment for now, and potentially a rise in demand for property from overseas. And that's the market update from Bendigo Bank.